features the 2005 Okanagan A11 SL. Everybody's been asking for pictures of all the sides, so I'm just going to do video. Here's the front of it. There's no delaminating of any of the sides. And like I said in the post, three of the four Happy Jack motors are seized up. There are these little motors here. They're about 160 a piece on the internet. Here's the passenger side. That little compartment's your plumbing. That's the furnace vent, hot water heater. Or maybe I have those backwards. <clears throat> Two propane tanks. I got oil in there for my truck. On the stairs that come with it are these heavy duty stairs there's these pins that hold them together um, once you remove the pins they kind of fold into itself and then I put them on the rear dinette bed in the camper um, they're a little heavy but once you get them set up they're really stable so they're really nice um, here's the back I got a fence right here, so I can't get too far away, so I might just scan. The slight cover um, popped off. I have it somewhere, but it does have like a burn mark in it, so there's that. This is storage. Your sewer hose compartment. Um, the drain stubs out right there, passenger rear. And then there's this underneath compartment. Both these rear compartments have the holder latches, um, the metal ones. So the valves. The gray water and black water valves are inside the heated basement. Um, so if you're in the winter camp, and it's... So those are lawn chairs and stuff. The storage goes back there. I don't know. Four feet or so, maybe a little more. <laughs> There's the Happy Jack wireless remote setup. Um, yeah, when the jack motors are working, those jacks are nice. I might... I was trying not to buy them, but I might end up doing that and asking more. Okay, the other side. Um, slide out. <clears throat> the guy before me wired in a what is that? Cigarette lighter. This is more storage. This storage passes all the way through to inside the camper so you can access it from inside or outside um yeah these rear um i don't know what they're called the rear end that comes down when i was looking at campers a lot of these were rotted out these ones are in good shape both sides it's got the slide out awning vent oh the battery vent it had a little plastic screen here that cracked away um, I haven't gotten new ones of those they're like a couple bucks on Amazon let's go inside slide out
that out of the way. So I'll show you the awning. Just comes in and out with the slide. Keeps rain and snow off of the slide out, which is nice. All right, getting in. Obviously, it's got the uh, the bed. It folds up to a dinette real nice. Um, here's the interior. Overhead cabinets. It's got a microwave in that cabinet. And then these are just, you know, your kitchen cabinet storage. Dual sink. Faucet. It's got a propane. Three burner stove. An oven. With the range. <clears throat> um, it'll come with the, what are these, the fast gun tie downs. bad boys right here the refrigerator nor wood or no nor cool um, I usually keep this towel in between both doors so when it's not in use when it's in storage um, it's got a little airflow through there, some venting. Bathroom. It's a wet bath. So you got your shower up there. Little medicine cabinet mirror. Sink. Little bench, I guess. Toilet. Um, everything works how it should. It's got a curtain at the doorway here. Um, and then obviously it's got the wooden door drains in the floor um, got a fan here's your monitor thing here um, so you can check your holding tanks and your battery level water pump all right the bedroom uh, we took the original queen mattress out of here I just put this air mattress in here to give you an idea. It's a little tall compared to what we what we are um, used to. This unit does not have AC, but here's the mirror cabinets. But it does have um, this fan, this heavy duty fan. I can turn it on. So it's got three speeds. As you can hear it, it's pretty powerful. It's got in and out, so you can determine which way the fan rotates. Um, then obviously, it's got a vent cover. So if it's pouring down rain, you could still use this. Um, just I just wouldn't open the vent all the way open. I'd open it a quarter way or halfway. But obviously in the summer when it's hot, you have that thing opened all the way. It gets good airflow. Um, so besides the closet, you got another little storage cabinet. And what else am I missing? Cabinet underneath the dinette table. Um, yeah, underneath cabinets. I could fold this up real quick if you guys want to see. I'm doing this one-handed because I'm videoing. So you can see how easy it is. <clears throat> okay, then you just grab the table. If you see on the wall there, there's those little tabs that go in those metal things. You get those lined up, and you come down here, and there's a fold-up leg. I don't know if I can do this one-handed that has a detent. Let me see here. Oh, I got it. 
So, detent. Adjust the leg up and down, and then it goes in the leg holder. And then you got a pretty sturdy um, table for a camper. This is the cabinet that goes through to the outside like I was showing you before. Fire extinguisher. It's got a radio and CD player. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best sound quality. Probably pretty good for 2005. The speakers are in these little corner upholstered items. Like I said, it's, it's no sound system, but it is a stock one from 2005, so... Another vent, lights, um, yeah, everything works how it should work, except for the three jacks, so, if anybody has any questions, um, shoot me another email, I'm located in Ording, and, yeah, thanks for watching, do another walk around the camper. Oh, and I do have a uh, a cover for the whole camper um, that we use when we restore it in the winter and when we're not using it. So, yeah. Thanks.